Hello and welcome to Supply Chain Weekly, brought to you by Sphere Management, your source for all supply chain and logistics news. This week we have big news from the World Trade Organization, President Trump's new trade deals, UPS drones, Boeing satellites, and much more. Make sure you stick around. Let's jump right in. Our very first story this week comes from the World Trade Organization. The trade facilitation agreement was designed back in 2013, but has finally been ratified by the 110 nations needed in order to implement it. This is a major milestone for the global trade system since it's the first multilateral trade deal since the creation of the World Trade Organization. Plus, it is predicted to increase global trade by $1 trillion per year. Boeing plans to use 3D printing to drastically increase production speeds of new industrial and military grade satellites. This will lead to fewer jobs, but more cost effective and efficient production. Experts fear that President Trump's new border tariffs and trade deals could increase the cost of American airplanes. If Boeing's sales and profits suffer, over 13,000 companies across the US and 1.5 million jobs could feel the pain as well. UPS is testing a new drone that is designed to launch from the roof of a delivery vehicle, deliver a package while the truck continues its route, and then meet back up with the vehicle to recharge and pick up its next package. Granted, UPS has been working with drones since 2013, but this new test shows exciting progress has been made. On Tuesday, XPO Logistics announced a net income of $27.3 million in the fourth quarter, comparing that to a net loss of $62.8 million a year earlier. They are now up to $0.22 cents per share, which is double what analysts had predicted. German logistics operator DB Schenker has made its first US acquisition since 2006 for $25 million. By scooping up Austin-based freight booking platform U-Ship Inc., DB Schenker plans to extend its reach past its European and Asian markets. And our very last story this week, Central Freight Line has recently announced its acquisition of Virginia-based Wilson Trucking, which will extend CFL's coverage to the Southeast and Puerto Rico. This has been Supply Chain Weekly, brought to you by Sphere Management, your source for all supply chain news. My name is John. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, comment down below, and let me know what you thought of this week's stories, and tune in next week for more supply chain news. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.